Hello, and welcome to Cooking with Dr. Fred. Um, so I just got home from the office today, and um, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to just prepare a quick meal. This is going to take, it'll take an hour, maybe 45 minutes to an hour in the oven, but preparing it is absolutely super easy. So I rinsed off these two chicken quarters, um, which is basically the, the, the drumstick and the thigh. So I rinse them off under cold water just to get off whatever's there. A nice lean protein. And then I'm gonna mix it with some seasonal vegetables. The only seasonal vegetable I'm not gonna use are carrots. You know, carrots are high in beta carotene. Um, they're high in all sorts of great antioxidants and stuff. And the only reason I'm using these is because I no longer give Remington carrots as a snack, so I didn't want them to go to waste, so I'm just gonna throw them in here. You just sort of sprinkle them around the chicken. It's really super simple. And then make, get rid of that. And then I bought uh, these great shiitake mushrooms um, that from the farmer's market. You can, you can either chop them if you want or not. You can take the stems off of them if you want or not, but they're great for the immune system, as you know. Um, shiitake mushrooms have been used for five to 10,000 years in Japan that we know of. So they really have excellent healing properties. So I just like to rinse them off, which I've already done, and then just throw them around the pot. I like them big especially since I'm going to be baking them so that they'll get nice and crispy and they'll, they'll stay crispy, but without getting soggy. If you cut them up too small, they'll get soggy, um, which you don't necessarily like. But the beauty about a dish like this is that the chicken will create its own, what we call schmaltz in New York or in Yiddish probably, um, but that's chicken fat. And so the chicken fat blends really nicely in with this and it gives it such an, an amazing sauce. Wait till you see what this looks like after it comes out of the oven. And then I'm just gonna put a spring onion in, but I used them all up yesterday. So we're gonna put in this whole bunch of nice spring asparagus. Now the beauty about asparagus is, is that this is the, really the time of the year. You know, this is the time of the year when it comes out. And so how do you know when asparagus, where, you, where to cut an asparagus? It tells you, simple. And then you could either cut it in half again, which I'm not going to because it's too much work, but the asparagus will tell you where it wants to break and you throw off that part away. So you no need to like worry about that. It does it for you. And I'm not doing this. This is, no, this is no magic trick. I'm not like deliberately choosing where to cut it. It just tells me where it wants to do it. And you know, the beauty of, of asparagus is A, it's, it's spring. It's, this is local. All of, that, all of what you're seeing is locally grown um, in my region in New York where I happen to live. All bought from the farmer's market, except the carrots because they were for Remington. But those were organic as well. And uh, that's, I mean, this is really how you make a meal. It can't be any quicker than this. I might not even do a take. Well, we, we will cut out because I will have to uh, put this in the oven. The other thing is you preheat the oven to 375 and then you cook it for about an hour. Um, and that'll get all, the, that'll allow the fat to come out of the chicken. That will allow all the vegetables to cook up really nice and I just think that I cannot wait because I have made this before and I thought I would make it for you tonight because I was doing this and I made this last week because this is what's in season at the farmer's market right now, which is great. Um, and you know, asparagus, you know, you're getting green, you're getting immunity, you're getting lean protein, you're getting beta carotene. What more could you possibly want from a meal? Not only is it going to taste delicious, but it's going to be healthy for you. So now that's it, that's the preparation. So then you do whatever you want. I'm gonna put some mac nut oil on it because I use macadamia nut oil because it's high in, in monounsaturated fatty acids. It's the heart healthiest oil you can use. Um, so I just sprinkle it on liberally because it will help your heart and arteries and all sorts of things. Totally neutral oil and high smoke point. So that's that, I used all that up. Salt, my favorite is real salt um, because it comes from underground comes from an underground old lake. Well, I don't think it's a lake. I actually think it was an ocean. An underground ocean um, that is now no longer exists in Utah. So this salt has never seen daylight until they take it out of the ground and bring it right to the thing. So I liberally salt everything. You can salt however you want it. Then I'm gonna use organic harissa seasoning. Harissa is really fun because it's got caraway, paprika, which is you know anti-inflammatory. It's got garlic, good for your blood pressure. It's got cayenne, anti-inflammatory. Cumin, delicious. I'm sure it has a use. I don't know it off the top of my head. Coriander, black pepper, 
paprika, organic paprika, all of this is organic, fennel, cinnamon, sea salt, ginger. You know how much I love ginger. You've been watching me put it in everything. It would have been really good in here. I just didn't have any. Um, peppermint, uh, organic lemon peel. Again, you're getting your citrus bioflavonoids in there and organic oregano. And this company is amazing. This company is called um, Smith and Truslow. And they come up with all these really amazing spices. They have great salts and they're all organic. So I, if, you, if, you're, if you're someone like me who likes to cook or just likes to get different flavors, just use it. So I just liberally will sprinkle this. More than you think you will need because the, what will happen with this is that the skin on the chicken will get crusted with it. And then this will also mix with the chicken fat and the macadamia nut oil, and it will become your sauce. So there, that's it, there you go. That's how you prepare a one cooking, uh, one meal dinner. And it's going to be delicious. Let me make sure you can see it up close and personal. There you go. And uh, now I'm gonna put it, put it in the oven and then I will show you what it looks like when it comes out, if I remember, because usually I get so hungry when I'm making these videos. Anyway, this is, you've been watching Cooking with Dr. Fred. We'll be right back with the finished product. Okay, welcome back to the Dr. Fred show. You're cooking with Dr. Fred. Um, what I did forget to mention, um, before putting it in the oven, wrap tightly with aluminum foil, because what that will do is it will keep the moisture in so that the vegetables steam and they don't dry out and they stay crispy. Um, so let's see, let's take it out of the oven. And it's going to be delicious. I already checked. Wait till you see what it looks like. Ooh, hot in there. And for the last 10 minutes, what I did was take the, uh, for the last 10 minutes, I took the foil off so that the, the tops of the chicken could get brown and get a little crispiness there. So as you can see, this is dinner. And you saw how long that took. No time at all. I hope you enjoy. Until next time, I'm Dr. Fred, and you've been watching Cooking with Dr. Fred.